Okay. Morning. Um, I will, I'm gonna attempt this again. Such a bad run on the way down. <clears throat> I just got like out of my groove, and then I never got back in that groove. <laughs> so we're gonna try again. Uh, I had a pretty decent run on the way down. My gearing, <clears throat> my gearing, and this isn't really perfect, but it's okay. Um, hopefully, I don't. Like, there's certain times where it's just like, I don't know what to do with myself, or I don't know exactly what I need to do movement-wise to make the car do what I want it to do, right? Yeah, there we go. We're locked up like that. Like, okay, well, I guess it was because I wasn't in gear. If I was in gear, I might actually came out of that in fine shape, but I wasn't in gear, so. Please? It's just rough, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if I can't get, um... Yeah, if I can't get the car to, like, give me some degree of angle, then I just... I, well, I can't manipulate it how I want to. I'm pretty sure I started the thing. I hope I started the thing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. There was just no way. Like, there was no way that... Like, I seen him coming, I'm just like... <laughs> There's just no way I could do anything there. I feel terrible. The terrible car accident on this other guy. That was unavoidable. It was just unavoidable. Oh! See? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was bad. I will admit that was bad. I drove us into oncoming traffic. That's all me. Okay, we're gonna just we're gonna start again. Gonna start again. I might have just like I was totally fine where I was, and I was like, there's a chance that he might move like he might move over and I might not have to do anything that's exactly what happened and then when I made the move late it was just like nah bro I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take this man out like that but yeah like I don't know like I, I can't always tell exactly like I say like what I need to do movement wise to make the car do what I want it to do like there it's, I, I don't know there, I'm just having issues on that corner. It's really like, like I gotta say, in these cars, it's just so low horsepower and everything. <sighs> yeah, you really gotta be in a groove. I guess I should have just left it in third gear there, let it eat. Hopefully, it, you know, would have done what I wanted it to do. Yeah, it's just the gearing. It's goofy. I used to drive the fruit circuit a decent bit, so I know the track, you know. I don't go the other way. The other way is, um, I don't believe in the other way. I hate the other way. It's just bad. It's a bad way to go. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, like, I'm decently familiar with the uh, free circuit. But I can't always make the car do exactly what I want it to do, where I want it to do it. Like, sometimes the car will do what I want it to do, but it won't do it when I want it to do it. You know what I mean? Like, there. Like, it did what I expected, but it did it. Like, super, or, I don't know. It's just lots of practice. Lots of... That shouldn't have happened, but I was completely off gas, so I just didn't even try and come back. I think we're passing away. I think I think we passed away. This is terrible. It's really terrible. He's so bad. I don't want to, you know what I mean? I, I guess I take us down the terrible way. Just to show you, like, how terrible it is. Okay. It's just like this really long, straight opener, right? It's terrible, for one, because, like, you're... One, you're probably not going to be able to be going fast enough there that you can really do what you need to do. And then you get here, and it's kind of like an awkward section, right? It's kind of like awkward the way that that turn's set up. Usually that turn doesn't go that smooth. So. And then there, you really need to not, uh, you know, understeer the vehicle. Like here, I slow down so I can approach this a little bit better, right? Kick it in third gear there, because... 
Seems like it's a long sweeping turn. Hit it with the brake. Get in second gear. Crank it, crank it. Stall. Stall the vehicle. I stalled the motor vehicle in uh, neutral, obviously. I gotta I had to bring down my speed a little bit, so I had to brake, shift down in second. And so okay, I don't know. Today's a better day than whatever. Let me chill out. Today's a better day than uh than yesterday was. Um I don't know. I only got like one very brief, like annoying like shouting match with one of my supervisors. Ooh, that's kinda nice. And then I did that, and then I did that. I seen it coming. Am I gonna be able to stop? No. Wow. Just like the instant karma for talking that smack, dude. That's so fast. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go down this way now. The, the dumb way. Um, yeah, that was going right. I was actually hitting I was hitting it. And then my brain turned off, so pretty normal for me. That actually happens to me a lot where like my brain just doesn't know what to do. Or it stops thinking about the thing that it's supposed to be thinking about. And it thinks about something else. Okay. It's getting dark too. I don't really like the darkness. I needed to be going faster there. I'm still okay. No, I'm not. I had no boost, and I was never okay. I like to just like make it down the mountain without like passing away. And then I'm gonna have to redeem myself. Like I've done so many. I've, well, I think I've done at least two, like four videos on the fruit circuit, and I don't like it. I don't like doing a poor job here. So I'm. I'm definitely gonna like do like an actual run or I just practice. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I was in my Laurel, but I feel like that's an excuse for poor driving. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not in the right car. Oh, I didn't, you know, the gearing's wrong. It's like, ah, oh, it's just like, you just need to drive it. Like, you just gotta feel it. You know what I mean? You feel, feel it. Although I do stand by what I said when I said my gearing is like, uh, out. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like I say, work was, uh, better today, I guess, because again, I only got like one kind of argument with one of my supervisors, just kind of, I don't know, just kind of like, awkward, I guess, slightly, because like one of the like production supervisors that I don't know from my different shift was like, he, I was like, hey, this thing has like a fold in it, and I was, he was like, no, folds are totally fine, and I'm like, I'm like, you're the only person that's ever said that to me, this is some of the dumbest I've ever heard, and he, I, he didn't really, he had his head, he wasn't listening. Thankfully, <laughs> I'm the type of person that will just say some real dumb than like pretty much anyone. Sometimes that's why it's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just real dumb stuff to people. So I, don't know. I said that, and he just didn't hear me. Thankfully, so so I didn't really register with him. Nah, see, I was hoping for a little bit better approach there, but no. That's I don't know, potatoing. I'll just call it that. But, um, the work was okay, I guess. I'm gonna go in for my overtime tomorrow, because overtime is, uh, I think it's a real guy coming. No, it wasn't. But it didn't matter. Ah, I almost pulled off, but I was off the gas. I don't know. Do I have yet? See, I'm in, this, I'm in that awkward place where I'm not, like, in the gear where I want to be. Like, I wanted to be in third coming down that hill. Oh, dude, he's just, he's murdering. He's murdering him. And me watching him win me dead. <sighs> I do not like putting on poor, poor performances. I actually hate that. It does not help with my confidence. And literally the first thing that I said when I was getting, when I was about to drive the fruit circuit in the World Drift Super Cars, I'm like, this is gonna hurt my confidence. So I'm gonna spend 15 minutes tuning the car. It's not gonna be exactly what I want, and it's, yeah. So I don't know. It's just again, I feel like I make too many excuses for myself on you know, things. Um, yeah. So work was, you know, not the worst thing today. I made it through. I'm kind of send it kind of light through here. Come on, bruh! 
I hate you. Like the one time I was gonna make it through there. Are you okay, brother? I, he's steering. You can do it. You can do it. Get back in gear. Nope, we couldn't do it. All right, well, I'm sorry, man. But like, look, you you sat there for a really long time. You did not. He didn't really give me any space to go by either. Like, I didn't have a lot of space that I could have manipulated there. You know, I'm not in the gravy garage car. Like, I you know, I can't I can't you know bend time and space in this uh, old 180 SX. Okay, it's, it ain't, it ain't got the spikes like that. Um, yeah, made it through work. Um, gonna go in tomorrow just because. Saturday. Saturday's worth like $170 versus like 118 hours or whatever, so it's worth it to go in on Saturday for me. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go in tomorrow. Make us a little bit of extra money or whatever. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the e-brake thing, dude. I don't really wanna drive over an hour and like beat my car up to drive somewhere that I don't need to go to send back a package that like you know what I mean? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I'm just kind of like, I don't want to drive that far away to try and send this crap off or do whatever with it, so. so I'm potentially just like kind of like moving on from it, because, I don't know. I'm not sure. I Maybe I'll email someone, but I'm like trying not to focus on it too much. Just, I don't currently have an e-brake, and it sucks, and maybe one day I'll have an e-brake again. There's no way! Okay. Like, in my defense, I was, like, planning so hard to get by that one guy. I was like, I'm about to go past this guy, full lock, sideways, like, nobody's business, bro. And I, and I was. I was. I was about to do it. I was about to do it. But, I um, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a fan of traffic. I know some people are. People, like, enjoy traffic. I don't. I think traffic's a stupid thing. I'm like, I don't know. If it's not real people, I think it's stupid. Like, that's my personal opinion. On that. I think... <laughs> okay. I like no hezzy. I feel like it has some value there. But for the most part, I don't feel like it has value. I feel like it's just like... Like, whenever I play Forza Horizon, and I'm like drifting, or I'm driving, or I'm doing anything, I'm gonna straighten up so these boys can roll by. Try to get myself wherever they don't want to be. You got this. You got this. There you go. Um, yeah. Oh. I guess it has some value there, but I like here I don't feel it as much. Here I'm just like it's obnoxious. Same thing with like like I said, Forza Horizon. Like if I'm drifting, I'm doing stuff. I'm usually just like the NPCs are annoying. Like if I had connection issues and I you know couldn't connect online or whatever, then you have way more NPCs, which some people like, and I don't. So I don't know. I'm gonna attempt to go back up the hill. It's probably gonna go well. I think this guy's gonna be behind me, so. Actually, I'm gonna pull up a little bit because there's gonna be two guys. Yeah. Dudes were talking in chat about VR and stuff, and I was just like, yeah, I don't know about VR, I'm not too sure yet. Um, I just feel better today, man. I don't know. I kind of used a lot of my medication or whatever, and work wasn't as bad, and. Yeah, like, I just made it through, you know what I mean? Like, we, I, we got through. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. We got through. Yeah, so, like, we, you know, we made it through. You know, it was difficult. <laughs> I don't know. Every day it works kind of difficult, but today wasn't as bad as most days. And like I say, like, mentally I do feel, like, a bit better. It's, um... I don't know. It's... It's different on a day-to-day -day basis. It depends on how my day went. It depends, like, you know, oh. Yeah. But I feel okay today. I keep watching, like, stuff about Mortal Online, and nothing that I watch or hear about it makes me feel like I should attempt to play it, by the way. Like, I keep watching stuff about it, and... I, a lot of the videos people aren't even talking and then like anytime I see the PvP for Mortal Online 2 It's the cringiest thing I've ever seen like it's so bad. It's it's usually just like hey, bud. What's up? Hey, why are you shooting me? Oh, hey, oh, no, no, oh, no It's it's like that. It's like you're literally beating up like poor people. It's so bad It's not okay. Like it's the PvP that 
maybe some of it's fun, but a lot of the like just rolling up on dudes is, is not fun. Especially with the voice chat, where you just hear, where people could just talk to you, just be like, oh man, like I, I just had nothing on my hair. Just whatever, like, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. But I keep watching stuff on it because I, I don't know. I want to find something to pour a bunch of time into. I don't know. Uh, I had to start again at work today. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay. Like, if I was to lose my job or quit my job or do whatever, I'm not going to just, like, piss away my money. Or, like, I'm not going to be like, ah, oh, dude, let's, uh, let's, let's do something real dumb uh, with my money. You know, I'm not going to, like, just blow it on something. It would just go to, like, you know, paying my bills and stuff and, and survival for, you know, however many months that my money would be worth me surviving, like a year or something, right? I'm worried that I'll end up doing that again when I lose my job. I'm just going to sit at the house. I'm not going to go anywhere. Oh, no. I'm going to sit at the house. I'm not going to go anywhere. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to, like, veg out and play video games until, you know, something happens whenever it does, you know six months or a year into this so I'm just kind of like worried about that and part of me wants to part of me wants to I don't know dude I keep seeing trucks pop up like I just seen another one that I spotted like 20 minutes ago and um yeah the one that I spotted 20 minutes ago was like a Tacoma I think 4600 bucks like a 06 Tacoma 4600 bucks 300,000 miles automatic it was the newer body style. Actually, I think it was like 07. So it was the newer body style. It looked pretty legit. Yeah. And then there's the Tundra that I saved that's like 7K. That's like super nice. Oh, my bad, bro. That is. I guess I'll roll around here and turn around. I don't really think about it. But, um, yeah. So I don't know. Like, part of me wants to just, like, spend some of my money. Uh, like, I want to spend a bunch of my money. Like, I keep saying these stupid things. Like, so, like,. If I had credit, I would have the money to get loans for crap that I want, but I don't, so I can just buy the scuff version of things that I want. But again, it's almost better for me to not have the money or to, like, feel like I need to, like, constantly be hungry and, and not complacent or whatever, so that I keep grinding at work or I keep, I don't know. Like I say, part of me just feels like I need to blow some of my money or, like, buy the truck or, or find something to, like, funnel myself into in some way. Yeah. I, I just... <laughs> I'm worried that I'm going to do the same shit that I keep doing over the years. You know what I mean? When I just, like, give up on everything and I start over again with nothing. And this shit sucks. Like, starting over with nothing sucks. So, I don't want to do that, but I also know myself, like... If I lose my job, I'm not going to find a new one very soon. Uh, that's just me. I don't like people. I don't like talking to anyone. I don't like doing interviews. I don't like going outside. I don't like pretty much anything that would involve me having to go find the job, right? So I have the money to not do that. So I'd probably just try and not do that for as long as I could do that. You know what I mean? It's like, it, and it's a problem. So I don't know. Like, if this could make me money, or there were other avenues that I could make money. Like, if I could make more, if I could make real money, like, selling antiques and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then, uh, it would have some degree of value. But, there's no degree of value in me staying at the house, making zero dollars, just like, you know, just walking around all the time. Like, you know, it's, not, it's not really any value gain there. Especially when it doesn't actually make me feel better. I know that's it's like yeah it doesn't actually make me feel better even I part of me thinks that's like the only thing that I want to do like part of me is just like oh yeah all I want to do is do that but then like the other part of me is just like well no you actually don't even want to do that when you're able to do that so like I don't think you want to do that you, just, you don't know what you want to do so you're just like you gotta come up with something that you want to do you know what I mean? so that's the thing right like, I don't know. yeah whatever this doesn't need to be any longer any more potatoing um, I don't know what I want. I, I almost feel like, uh, I need more slip from the car, so I need to add more air to the tires, and then my gear need, I need to mess with the gear a little bit, so I need it to be just, like, a little bit longer, and then I can still bang out 2-3 on the long curves and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, 
you know, try and relax or whatever. Not uh, be stressed out, which is hard for me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It was okay. I made it through. Yeah. Hopefully the same thing happens tomorrow. I just keep continuing on pushing through. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Such a terrible mentality. <laughs> but I don't know how to uh, do anything about it other than that. Other than to push forward relentlessly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my foot hurts. I got it stuck in a steel pallet and I kicked it real hard with my boot. Like, it, in the same, like, move and it hurts now. So, sucks. Yeah, peace out.